Algebraic Representations of Reflections, Lesson 9.4b. The signs of the coordinates of a figure change when the figure is reflected across the x-axis and y-axis. There are rules we can follow for changing the signs of the coordinates after a reflection. So here are the rules for coordinate mapping of reflections. If we're reflecting across the x-axis as our line of reflection, we're going to multiply each y-coordinate by negative 1. Our x will stay the same, but our y-coordinate will be multiplied by negative 1. So remember, there's an invisible 1 here, isn't there? If we're reflecting across the y-axis, we're going to multiply each x-coordinate by negative 1. So now we have our y staying the same, but our x value is multiplied by negative 1. So notice that a reflection across the x-axis will have us multiply the y value by negative 1, and a reflection across the y-axis will have us multiply the x value by negative 1. Triangle ABC has vertices of A is at negative 2, 6, B is at negative 2, 3, and C is at negative 7, 3. Find the vertices of triangle A prime, B prime, C prime after reflection across the y-axis. So we're going across the y-axis, which means we're going to multiply the x values by negative 1. If A is at negative 2, 6, we're going to do negative 2 times negative 1 and 6 for y. Well, a negative 2 times a negative 1 gives us a positive 2, so a prime is at 2, 6. b is at negative 2, 3. It's going to map to a negative 2 times a negative 1 for the x value. That's going to give us a positive 2, and y is 3. c is at negative 7, 3. It's going to map to, for the x value, a negative 7 times a negative 1, which will give us a positive 7, and y for 3. The y values didn't change, but the x values are opposite of the pre-image x values. Rectangle ABCD is in quadrant 1, with vertices of A is at 1, 4, B is at 5, 7, C is at 8, 4, and D is at 4, 1. Find the vertices of rectangle A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime after reflection across the x-axis. So since we're going across the x-axis, we're going to multiply the y values of the pre-image by negative 1. We go from the pre-image, x is going to stay the same, y is going to be multiplied by negative 1, 4 times negative 1 is a negative 4, and now we have the point for a prime. For b, 5 is going to stay the same, we multiply 7 times negative 1, which gives us a 5, negative 7. For c, the x value 8 is going to stay the same, and this positive 4 multiplied by negative 1 becomes a negative 4. And for d, we have 1 for y. That's going to be multiplied by negative 1, and we get 4, negative 1 for d prime. The x values did not change, but the y values are opposite of the preimage y values. Translating trapezoid ABCD will not create the same image as a reflection. The orientation changed. Translating square ABCD will not create the same image as a reflection. So remember, when we're translating, we just slide it across. So this flipped. This is a reflection. It's not the same as a translation. This literally flipped over. It didn't just slide across. We can look at the vertices. We have, on the pre-image, A is here, but on the image, A prime is over here. So we can tell that it flipped, that it's a reflection. Same with this square, A, B, C, D. We have A prime over here. It looks like they're both squares and it could have slid over, but by looking at the vertice labels with A here and A prime here, we can tell it flipped, that it's a reflection. The corresponding vertices of each image after reflection and each image after translation are in different positions. The image of a reflection is congruent to the pre-image, so the corresponding vertices should be written in the same order. 
This is A, B, C, so we have A prime, B prime, C prime. We have a right angle right here at B, and it's right here on the image at B. And be careful, we aren't just making the sign of the image coordinates negative. We're giving the image coordinates an opposite sign of the pre-image coordinates. If we're reflecting across the y-axis, we're going to multiply the x values by negative 1. And if we're reflecting across the x-axis, we're going to multiply the y values by negative 1. A reflection maps a figure onto its image. Arrow notation describes the mapping. We can read the arrow as maps to. So we would have A maps to A prime. We could read this as point A at 2 for x, 4 for y, maps to A prime at 2 for x, negative 4 for y. We can also read it as point A at x2, y4, maps to A prime at x2, y negative 4. We're finished with B. We're moving on to the last part, algebraic representations of rotations. As you get into high school geometry, you're going to learn these rules again and how to do this, but it will be with more information. So you're going to be refreshed on all of this and then learn even more. I hope you have a great day and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.